like she's that infernal animal. <laughs> what is going on with your boobs? <laughs> I don't know. They're not real. <laughs> Day 41, 8.26am. Today the housemates will be tested on this week's task, teaching an old dog new tricks. They have gambled 50% of their weekly food budget on Paddy performing four tricks correctly. Oh, I'm so tired. Oh, why are you going to be so late? I was chatting with Elizabeth. She was a bit pissed off and she's had enough of being here and stuff. Really? Yeah. Paddy! You no oh, sugar plum. He is a sugar plum. Paddy, sit down. <laughs> Paddy, lie down. Good boy, yeah. It's got to be there for Good ten boy. seconds. Okay, uh, it's got to stay there for ten. Yeah. Lie down, Paddy. Good boy, Way. Wait. Paddy. Paddy. Paul. Paul. Good he's got boy. To sitting. He's got to go from sitting. Sitting. Right, okay. Half asleep still. Paddy, Paul. He's got to go from sitting. Sit. Come on, Paddy. Sit. In all fairness, though, the right people are doing it because I cannot sit there. It's not fair. It's not fair. It's depending on that dog. It's not yeah, fair. Yeah, because not only can depend on us, and we, can, and we, we all can pull through hundred percent. Yeah, you can't do anything with that dog. Uh, I thought when we, but even when we best, I still thought it was a computerised dog. And I no, thought, I, you, really I really thought you could just sit there and just pound it out with it for four hours a day. Uh, and we would have passed, definitely. Uh, but anyway, who cares if we fail? Fuck it. 9.33 a.m. Josh is cooking porridge for the group. Why does this place always constantly look like a bomb site? I oh, know, there's just no way around it, mate. It's unbelievable, isn't it? Jesus. Josh, I'm glad you don't give animal a conscience. Sorry? That's okay. You haven't got a start your porridge. You haven't got a conscience. Kitchen girl. <laughs> Who's the bitch in the kitchen? Oh, it's Josh. <laughs> Anna's destiny shall be revealed on Friday. Will she stay or will she go? Well, let's go now. Only Divian McCall knows the answer. Join in live. Josh is like, if I wasn't stirring this porridge, I swear I'd belt him one. Oh, I'm quite far, I'm used to you by now, Brian. Are, are you? Yeah. You're not, though. Oh, yeah. No, I think it's sometimes you're not. I, I'm so used to you. Really? Yeah. It's like being an au pair, Brian. You oh, get, really? You get, yeah, you get used to the naughty sport kids after a bit. 11.13 a.m. Big Brother calls Josh to the diary room. Uh, hi, Big Brother. Hello, Josh. As the weeks are going by, is there anything you're finding more difficult in the house? I actually find it more difficult to get on with Brian, I have to be honest, because he's constantly uh, digging at me, and I'm just sort of refraining back at the moment. And uh, I'm, I dare say that I might bite back sooner or later. He's very, he is very witty, he's very funny, he's got a great sense of humour, but um, it can be constantly directed at my, at myself, and even other people keep asking me, is he having a go at you? And I'm, I just laugh it off most of the time, but it can be a bit wearing. So, just, just constant, even this morning, straight away, sort of laying into me with his humour. And if I say anything back, he's like, oh, what's wrong with you today? You, you had a bad, you're, you're in a mood or something, so. It's, I think he finds it easy to have a jibe about me being gay as well. It's just easier for him to have a constant dig. 11.33 a.m. Today is the fourth hottest day of the summer so far in London, averaging 29 degrees Celsius. In the Big Brother garden, it's 30 degrees in the shade. His owner hates me for calling him Scruffy. He's a pedigree. Maybe he's seen, it. He's maybe seen a cameraman behind the mirror. It's evil. I'm fucking know his arse. It's all kicked it off. Is, isn't it? Shut up, you stupid infernal animal! <laughs> Get out! That's is that that's not a cock doing that, is it? It is. It is. Oh, it yeah, is. That's the cock. That's his. Oh, I'm here to protect my women. 
That's that's. I'm here, bored, locked in with my women. I'm gonna do out. my. I'm top of the food chain. Fucking shut up. You <laughs> chase. It's time to hose him down with holy me. water. Hmm? Shut up! Fuck you. Shut it. <laughs> Satan's arrived. <laughs> This week, the housemates have been teaching Paddy to perform eight different tricks. The housemates must pick four on which he will be tested. He has told Big Brother that he finds it hard to talk about his feelings in the diary room. It's not like talking to a human being, um, and there is, it is not a two-way exchange. It's very one-way. If I was going to do this, I could just as easily do this in the shower. Yeah, there's nothing, there's no comeback, there's nothing coming back, if you know what I mean. We're all very aware that we have no control, and we are, and Big Brother can turn it up or turn it down. God, Dean's having a hefty session. Yeah, he's moving it over now. No way! Yeah. I think an another sort of very valid and understandable fear and reservation that people have particularly younger people, is their perception on, on the outside. Just the fact that the way they are is going to be perceived in a negative... in a negative way, just because... It's just natural insecurity, I think. Thank you very much, Dean. Thanks. Ten years later... It's Dean. Who are you? <laughs> Who are you? I've never seen I you before in my life. I've been in Portugal for Did you get your six top years. Back? You've been in the diary room for six years. I've got another one. That's a nice one, Dean. She's really nice. What too that was? Seven nineteen p.m. Oh, Yesterday, two intruders climbed into the Big Brother garden. Brian and Josh discuss what could have happened. He's thinking that I planned that the two people getting. No, I didn't. Press. No, Josh, stop twisting your own words, mate. Or buddy. Buddy or mate, that's quite nice. I said, imagine those guys had to beat me up and he went, you mean stabbed you? He goes, yeah, he goes, they never finished the job. I went, what do you mean? He goes, they owe me money when I get out. <laughs> now, the, oh, everyone laughs at you, but if I say it, it's, I'm saying it with venom in my mouth. I can't win. Because you get more in, Brian, that's you, why. You do. True. <laughs> you loads more. Yeah. I get one punch to your bloody 6,000. Absolutely. Well, obviously, you're a tough man. You can handle it. It's just as well I can. Oh, is it ratty today? <laughs> this is the funny thing. If ever I get a few digs in, that was two punches. I'm ratty or irritable or... You're very irritable, actually. No, I'm not at all, mate. I'm not at all. Oh, mate, we're back to mate. Not at all. <laughs> you started, Mama. Oh, dear. Well, the two of you look so cute lying on that couch thing with your... Well, with unfortunately, your, with I have your to matching the haircuts. Because I'm on my way in. Matching haircuts. Cute oh, doesn't nice. even qualify him. <laughs> How fucking rude. 8.36pm. Brian comes to the diary room. Do you have any regrets at all about entering the Big Brother house? Um, I've no regrets about coming in here. I'm ever regrets about certain things that I've said or done, I suppose. They're my, they're my regrets, things that maybe I wouldn't have done. But in, in respects, I've said things to a certain person in here, I suppose, that didn't come out the right way and that made me look like a bit of a twit, I suppose. I don't feel that there is a problem with myself and Josh in the house, you know, at the start, you know, it was weird having someone in here because, like I said, I felt that I'd, I, I was being judged by another gay person because, you know, and I felt that if, if my parents, you know, seen him and then seen me, you know, that he would portray himself as a gay man much better than I could have. I think everyone else in the house has got my humour, but in, in a sense, I don't think he has. I think he's just grinning me and smiling at me, to be honest, until this whole thing is over. That's my... That's my feeling. Ten forty two PM. The housemates have been playing volleyball for an hour and twenty one minutes. No. Yeah, that was right, right, right. oh, oh, so <laughs> Ten four six, all right. Our oh. friends are full. Come on, guys, we'll go yeah, go on. Go on H. Dude. Well, I heard go on H. Yeah, I know. I'm just trying to get you into it. Yeah, I was gonna watch the game. Dreamland. 
I didn't, I just see burn. Did you have some sore? Yeah. Yeah, one more. Really, really sore, really then full. Then I've died for me, though, so. Oh, sorry. I've had enough. Not yeah. Fine. Yeah. You've had what, mate? He's had it stopping. He stopped playing. Oh, he stopped playing? Yeah. Do you want Paul? Do you reckon it's my fault? fault? I don't think so. I think he just wants to stop playing. No, I, think I don't just... know, H. I haven't got a clue. No, he does just want to stop yeah, playing. I think he's, he's probably tired. H, his thumb is hurting. Yeah. Oh, is it? Like that. Do you want to stay and play? Let's get I don't want to play anymore. Sorry. I you're just okay. want to play in. Come on, H, you did well. I know, but... You did do no, really well. I always think that nobody ever wants him on my... I know people want him to say, but, like, I'm bad luck. You're not bad luck. And whenever yeah. anyone says, I'll be thinking that. I and picked Bretch. What we'll do tomorrow, <laughs> well, tomorrow, you and me, we'll just practice. You know how you did those early ones, and you get much better. Perhaps I'm just being ultra-sensitive. <sighs> you don't mean to push me. It's just this place. No, no, no. You're doing really well. You did really well in that game. I know you're doing good, but I don't think I'm good enough for some people. <laughs> I don't want to be in this bloody house no more. Oh, come oh. On. Pissed off with it now. Oh, come on, let's play. No, I'm, I'm do you want me to I, I don't know what to do. I, do want, I, do I want, know I'll have no effect. I'm not going to How do you want to swap? Give me a shower. I feel like you're stopping because of me. Me? No, I'm just that enough. <laughs> don't be daft. Oh, sweetheart. Don't be daft, H. Tell you again. Don't be mad. I just kept eating it off my thumb and then my thumb's really sore. No, I just wanted to no, stop. No, he's been up his thumb, that's all. Yeah, but I thought he was stopping because of me and then I got upset. Don't be stupid. I'm pretty rubbish too. I'm sure they get very annoyed. Darling, don't be also. daft. Honestly, I've mashed my, foot, I mashed my thumb up in that game and I hit a couple of them low ones. I thought at the end of this game I'm going to stop playing because I hurt my thumb. Two or three a.m. Helen has gone to bed. Josh and Brian have asked the group to leave them alone so they can discuss their disagreements. What do you do? You blow hot and cold with me? I don't think I blow hot and cold. Oh, cold completely. completely. You'd be there and you'd, you wouldn't even say a word. I was trying to talk to you that day and you were going. Stop yeah, class I apologised to you because I this knew is what I was out right of order. Though. Are you even on the court? You just turn around and say, oh, "I'm sorry, I'm being a bit ratty." You don't realise you're doing it. In here, everything is magnified by 100. No, no, but what I'm saying is Do you, you, you don't realise you're doing it, I don't think. I think, really think you're not aware of it. I haven't got a problem with it, but... But I mean, you obviously you do, in a sense, have no, a problem with it. I haven't got a problem with it, but it, the, the remarks I give back to you, you rise to them more than I rise to yours. And that's what I'm like, hang on, you can throw them at me, but you can't take them yourself, that's scary. I've never been serious to you. I've never once insulted you. Meaning it, and that's from the, my um, my niece and nephew's life because I'm not like that. Yeah, but the problem is, I do is, not. The problem is, you. I came in as a stranger, knowing no one. You completely attacked me, and since then, Josh, you're forgetting yeah. one thing. I could have attacked anyone that day. You checked the new person, and you attacked them because I was gay. Oh, so you asked the others. They all think it's because of that. No, because I've talked with all of them. They said if you'd walked in there straight or an old girl, it wouldn't have happened. No, of course it happened. It did happen. Of course it happened because of that. But no in that respect, reason. you could have been a straight guy. Yeah. Who took my bed? I would feel the exact same. You happened to be gay. Josh is so patient, isn't he? He's a very patient bloke. It sounds like um, it sounds. If you if you listen to them, didn't you? You didn't know what was going on. It was like Josh was in the wrong. Do you know yeah. What I mean? Yeah, yeah. Sure. It's funny because he's he's, he's 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 so patient. You can hear Brian saying, "Yeah, but I this and you know my my was worried about my parents and da da da." That conversation would be so short if it was me. Yeah. Because I'd say, I don't give a fuck about yeah. what you think. I'm telling you that I don't want that to happen and it better not happen again. But it was a joke. I didn't mean it. It wasn't spice. But sometimes you don't know where to draw the line. That's the problem. Not you, but sometimes I don't know where probably the line's drawn either. Do you know what I mean? So it's a misjudgment thing on that, that one then. I think relatively, when it comes to me and you, it, it's, a, it's a constant misjudgment. Both ways. I think it's 50 50. I think it's both I don't think worse. you're ever, ever going to get my character. I think you really are. I don't think I'm ever going, ever going to understand you. Who goes? You decide. To Vict Ammer, call 090 